Good morning students, welcome to my platform technology class. So today I will be discussing with you the topic in lesson 1 which is introduction to computer system. But before I will discuss everything about the topic 1, so let me introduce to you the syllabus that will serve as guide in our subject or in our discussion. So today, I would like to present to you the content of our course syllabus. Republic of the Philippines, Occidental Mindoro State College, College of Arts, Sciences, and Technology, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, for the OMS Vision, a premier higher education institution that develops globally competitive, locally responsive, innovative professionals, and lifelong learners. So for the OMSC mission, OMSC is committed to provide intellectual and human capital by developing excellent graduates through outcome-based instruction, relevant research and responsive technical advisory services, community engagement, and sustainable production. So College of Arts, Sciences, and Technology goal we have the College of Arts, Sciences, and Technology aims to provide excellent education to sustain equip with the necessary knowledge and skills in their specialized profession. So our course title is Platform Technologies. Our course description is the course aims to provide students with necessary knowledge on historic evolution of computers, how a computer was structured and organized, its architecture and characteristics, capabilities, and performance. The principal function units, digital circuit were designated and simulated to help the students learn on how computer circuit works, provide basic and depth understanding in assembly language and programming concept. So we have three unit subjects. For our program goal, we have the BSIT graduates are expected to become globally competent, innovative, and socially and ethically responsible, competing professionals engaged in lifetime long learning and divorce. They are capable of contributing to the country's national development goals. So for the program outcomes, so, you have to apply knowledge of computing, science, and mathematics appropriate to the discipline. Understand the, the best practices and standards in their applications. Analyze complex problems and identify the computing requirements appropriate to its solution. Identify and analyze user needs and take them into account in the selection, creation, evaluation, and administration of computer-based system, together with design, implement, and evaluate computer systems progress, components, or programs to meet the needs and requirements under various constraints. So for our course outline, in week one, we will be discussing Introduction to Computer System Here's our topic for week 2-3 to three, which is the basic computer structure and operation together with the number system. For week 4-5, to five, our topic is Introduction to Assembly Language. For week 6-7, to seven, we have Basic Syntax and week 8-9, to nine, we have Memory Segments and Registers and week 10 and 11, we have addressing modes. So for online references, you can use the suggested learning resources. Topic 1, Introduction to Computer System. So here are the topics under Lesson 1. First, Introduction to Computer System, Historical Evolution of Computers, Classes of Computers, Components of a Computer System, Computer Software, computer performance, and basic operational concepts. So for the learning outcomes, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to familiarize 
the evolution, components, and functions of the computer system. Identify the importance of the system performance check. Acquire the knowledge in the basic operational concept of the computer system. Today, almost all of us in the world make use of computers in one way or the other. It finds application in various fields of engineering, medicine, commercial, research, and others. Not only in these sophisticated areas but also in our daily lives, computers have become indispensable. Computers are present everywhere, in all the devices that we use daily like cars, games, washing machines, microwaves, and etc. And in day-to-day -day computations like banking, reservations, electronic mails, internet, and many more. Just like our situation today because of pandemic, computer plays an important role in our daily lives. Computers are not only used by professionals, but also by little children learning and adults at homes and of course in the workplace. Today, everything related to your everyday life can be done in a few simple clicks. The first generation of computers made use of First, vacuum tube technology, punch cards for data input, punch cards and paper tape for output, machine language for writing programs, and magnetic tapes and drums for external storage. These are the examples of punch cards, paper tape, and vacuum tube in the first generation of computer technology. During the early times, people used abacus for computations using of sliding beds arranged on a rack. Early merchants used abacus to keep trading. The abacus, which merged about 5,000 years ago in Asia Minor and is still in use today. The abacus and pascaline belongs to the first generation of computers. The abacus, a simple counting aid, was most likely invented in Babylonia. Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician, invented the first mechanical machine, a rectangular brass box called Pascaline, which could perform addition and subtraction on whole numbers. This was in the 17th century. Charles Babbage, a British mathematician at Cambridge University, invented the first analytical engine or difference engine. This machine could be programmed by instructions coded on a punch cards and had mechanical memory to store the results. For his contributions in this field, Charles Babbage is known as the father of modern digital computer. Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer the first programmable general-purpose electronic digital computer was built during the World War II. Its size is over 100 feet long, filling a 30 feet by 50 feet room. Its weight about 30 tons, cost of $486,000. Here is the second generation. In the second generation of computers, we have the vacuum tube technology. It was replaced by transistorized technology, and the size of the computer started reducing. Assembly language started being used in the place of machine language, and then the concept of stored program emerged. High-level languages were invented. So these are the transistors. The third generation of computers were characterized by the use of integrated circuits, phenomenal increase in computation speed, substantial reduction in size and power consumptions of the machines, the use of magnetic tapes and drums for external storage, design of operating systems and new higher level languages, and of course, commercial production of computers. This is what integrated circuit looks like. To continue the discussion and historical evolution of computers, so the general features of the fourth generation computers were First, the use of very large scale integration. Next is invention of microcomputers. The third is introduction of personal computers. And then the use of networking. And fourth generation 
languages. So, coping up in the world of new trends, here's the fifth generation. Defining the fifth generation computers is somewhat difficult because the field is still its infancy. The computers of tomorrow would be characterized by artificial intelligence or AI. An example of AI is expert systems, where computers could be developed which could think and reason in much the same way as human, or computer can act and think like human. Computers would be able to accept spoken words as input or the voice recognition. Many CPUs work as one and advance in superconductor technology, which allows the flow of electricity with little or no resistance, greatly improving the speed of information flow. So, as technology evolves, in today's generation, we can use different types of computers which can help us to make our tasks easier, to make us more productive, and to give us more convenience in our daily lives. That is why we should be thankful to those persons behind the history of the computer generation. So our topic, Introduction to Computer System, ends here. Just wait for another topic and answer the activity provided. So please check your progress and answer the following activities. For activity 1, you have to match the following from column A to column B based from our lesson. And then for activity 2, write true or false. So you have to determine if the statement is true or if the statement is false. So please write your explanation regarding with each statement. So, you have to explain why you answer true and you have to explain also why you answer false. And then, that's all for today. Good luck! So, that's all for today. So, if you are new to my channel, so don't forget to like and subscribe for the next lesson update. Bye!